Okay, um, welcome back to this year's Pixel Festival. Now I have Hans and Daniela with me who are going to tell me about their project. So welcome back and tell me a bit about the project you've got this year. Thank you. Um, do you want to say, because I think you are connected to the to the genesis of the title a bit more. Maybe let's start. Yeah, sure. Uh, the, the, the project uh, uh, name is Street, Street and Embellish, but uh, uh, we we chose together, and um, in this project we uh, combine basically two uh, computer music systems by plugging uh, each other uh, signals in different parts of of the other system, uh, creating essentially a kind of a complex uh, feedback loop of our two um, computer music systems. Um, and uh, my side, so my my system is called uh, Strip because um, it's uh, a sort of uh, instrument that uh, I've been working on for several time, several years actually now. Um, and um, by by kind of reducing uh, its um, components, uh, trying to reduce it more and more while at the same time, um, yeah, trying to maintain a, a kind of a sonic complexity. So the name from my side uh, of the duo strip comes down to this act of stripping down uh, uh, things and to make it as, as simple as possible on one side. Um, I don't know. So, I, so basically, I, I decided that I will try to do the counter movement somehow. So the embellishment, it's kind of, uh, so I have a system that is uh, can allow me to play sounds by myself, but also a lot to, to process the sounds that are incoming. So in this case, in this project, I'm almost only doing input processing. That is to say, anything that is happening is based on Daniela's signal. So it's kind of an on. It, it plays a bit with the idea of ornamentalizing or embellishing the signal that's also coming in, uh, in the sense that it's kind of adding tones that are reflecting his tones and you know, kind of changing the timbre, adding to the timbre. But since it's a feedback system, it de develops very complex behaviors. And uh, when we want particularity of each gig is that after around half of the time, what I'm doing is I'm recording everything that's happening in my system and then ha half the time, I'm just skipping back in, back to the beginning kind of of the performance and all the structural changes are kind of replayed. However, the input signal is different. So strange things happen. That's kind of, it's kind of a hollow structure, like a, like a container that is kind of redoing something, but reacting to the current situation. So it's kind of an A, A, whatever structure, kind of a repetition structure that is not really a repetition. Difficult to describe. <laughs> Thank you. And um, where would you say some of the influences that you've been working with on this project come from? <laughs> I mean, we have been we've been working together in other forms for many years now. We had a project together called Algorithms That Matter. It's, it ended last year, and we've been work, so we've been working basically the past four years together in other forms but not really improvising together. So that's kind of a new thing that we uh, started to do this year. But we are, how are we influenced? I don't know, you would probably say something about feedback systems. That's your, that's your Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I tend to work with uh, feedback as a sort of generative uh, material in many ways. And in this case, I think we, we could say that we intend feedback as a recursive exchange of, of signals between uh, us. No? So we create a sort of, of loop through which we can uh, intervene and, and, and kind of improvise with it. Um, so yeah, I, I come from this approach of... Uh, um, yeah. I would add, so on my side, I would add that I'm currently very interested in uh, forms of asynchronicity. So things which are not completely synchronized, but which run 
in each of their own temporality and what happens when and of course they're synchronized in the sense that the, the signals go forward and backward but there's a lot of varying delays and a lot of different things happening so it's not really i wouldn't describe it as a synchronized approach but more as a two things that kind of move past each other and as they move past each other they create these kind of strange interference patterns i don't know if that answers the question of the influence or the what influences us but uh, I yeah. will say okay, it's okay. <laughs> you passed. <laughs> so uh, now, uh, no, hang on, let me start that question again. Sorry, I lost the microphone. Um, yeah, how has your life changed in the last 12 months to how it was the previous 12 months? <laughs> you want to begin again? Please, <laughs> me? How's my last? Well, uh, first of all, I think it's. Uh, We've been waiting very, very long for a new research project, and, and we have been trying to uh, get that started for the past more than two years, not two and a half years. So that has finally come through, and that has kind of configured my thinking a lot this year because I'm kind of finally looking forward to this project. It's called uh, Simultaneous Arrivals, and as the title kind of uh, alludes to, it also has a bit to do with this question of asynchronicity and simultaneity. And uh, maybe last year was kind of a, this kind of a decaying year of the Corona year, I would say. Still, it's very strange. More scattered projects, small, smaller scale projects, and this year is kind of a. I have the feeling we're returning to other things somehow. I don't know if you agree or not. Yeah, so there's more gigs somehow, more possibility to to play now again. Um, Unfortunately, we won't be in Bergen uh, in person. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we're planning to actually, in, as part of the project, we want, we're, we're planning to come to Bergen, but this will be like in a year and a half time, something like that. Okay. So. <laughs> I'll put it on the calendar. Yeah. <laughs> and in terms of uh, the next 12 months, will you be collaborating further in a different project or more of the same, or what will you be doing? So the, the research project that has started now, in which we will also be to, uh, working together, it's uh, not focused primarily on improvisation and computer music, but more installative practices and intermedia practices. So it's kind of taking similar ideas, but putting them in very different domain. And the project's all about collaborative practices. So uh, going in a way, expanding from the idea of a duo, which is a very, very particular form of collaboration to a more like a, a group situation of three or four people coming together. So that's kind of uh, our next uh, journey together. And uh, maybe you want to say something about your doctorate as well. Um, yeah, it's the same. I, I will be part of the um, of funds project. Um, and besides, I will also continue uh, my doctorate um, here at the uh, in Graz. Um, so, yeah, uh, I will uh, work simultaneously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will all be multitasking, yeah. which we have been practicing so much in the last year. Well, thank you very much. And it's a shame that you won't be here in real life uh, for this festival, but maybe for the next one or in an actually a year and a half's time. <laughs> yeah. You should come by the studio and it would be really lovely to see you. And um, yeah. It will be lovely to see your project uh, during the festival. So thank you very much to both of you, Hans and Daniela. And yeah, don't forget to bring rain gear when you come. It's just permanently raining. I don't know whether you've heard gear. about it. Before, rain, gear. But... Uh, rain gear. I thought rain gear. The only time oh, I would be it was sun. <laughs> rain gear that. and rain gear. <laughs> <laughs> the rain you got and the rain gear you got too. <laughs> yeah. We got the sunny weather here. We'll try it. <laughs> anyway, nice to meet you and take care. Nice See, you. See you. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Okay.